Okay, so even though I'm an iPhone user, I'm a big fan of Android and also Samsung's DeX mode, which gives you a big screen operating system from a mobile phone, and it comes in handy when you've got something like this Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. And you end up with something that's actually very usable on a big screen with all the apps that you've got on your phone. Now I thought this would be a good idea to use with a couple of controllers to be able to play a bit of FIFA, maybe on PlayStation 2 or the GameCube emulator Dolphin, but unfortunately it didn't go so well. So I went to my mother-in-law's and plugged the phone in. I'd already tested this before I'd left uh, and launched the emulators. So let's try a bit of GameCube with the Dolphin emulator and both controllers were paired. When I went to try FIFA, because I'd had DeX running for maybe 10, 15 minutes on the TV before, uh, it was actually running much slower, and you can see already, uh, it's already running a bit slow. I'm looking at the frames per second at the top, and it's going at about 44, and it should be going around about 50. And the audio's a bit garbled as well. And it's dropped down to 30 now. There seems to be a few things that was affecting the phone. So it had a case on and that seemed to be making it quite hot. Uh, it's really warming up at the moment just playing this game for just a little bit. And also it seems to be if you're using a USB-C adapter that isn't separately powered, that also seemed to affect performance as well. I've turned on enhanced processing by switching this, which was from this tip on Reddit. I installed Good Guardian from the Samsung store and turned on Thermal Guardian. So my thermal threshold is at the highest it will go. Ugreen also sent me this USB-C dock to test uh, and I thought it was a perfect thing for this video. It has uh, power in, but also powers lots of devices as well. So I think that makes a huge difference with DeX. So as opposed to this cable, which is powered by the phone and just has HDMI out, this dock has all sorts of connections on it. So one of them is power in, which is this one. So I can now plug that into the phone and plug the HDMI in. And I did read about changing the resolution of the display, but I think I've already done that. So if I go to settings and decks, I can scroll down and I've got display resolution which is set to the lowest I can have, so 1600 by 900. Tap the little icon here so it puts it into mouse mode which probably helps. And I've also got a fan, uh, which is a Raspberry Pi fan that I've just put a USB end on it. So I can plug this in to one of these many sockets and work out which way this is going. So it's going that way. So I'll take heat away from the phone so if I pop it this way around, now I'd obviously put some feet on it or something like that, but this is going to take heat away from it, hopefully. So let's see if this makes all the difference. So back into Dolphin Emulator. Already sounds better on the audio and some of the intros definitely better. Okay, so it's 50, 61. Yeah, it definitely feels quite snappy now. So it's the end of the half pretty much, and it's holding at sort of 45, 50, but it's not, it's not a great experience. So I think I'm gonna try PS2, uh, but I think the cooling's making a big difference, but I think this game maybe is just a bit too much for this emulator on this phone. This is a Samsung game called Left to Survive that I've not played before. Oh, it's touch only. Okay, I'll try Fortnite then. Try and be a bit quiet. And I'll play around with the graphic settings. Just try and hide here for a little bit. Let's go down a bit on the 3D resolution. So let's do that as 50. And everything else probably is on low. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. This is more um, to see if it thermal throttles, really. So I want to see if I can keep playing for quite a, an extended amount of time and it's still coping all right. And obviously at the end of this, I can quit out and I can have a look. It's pretty quiet. Let's have a little drive around. Right, let's get back in the circle a bit more. It's coping all right. I mean, you know, the graphics do look a bit rough, but it's coping all right. Oh, someone over there.
Oh, they seem to know what they're doing, don't they? I'm getting out of the way. Let's head towards this. Well, that's two. <laughs> nice. Oh, someone else is around. Where's that coming from? So I can get back to my car. Where are they? What have they? They've got. What have they got? If I can get far enough away, I might be able to heal up. Oh, <laughs> he's got a decent gun. Okay, so if I now quit out of this and go straight into Ada 64, so if we go to thermals while it's still running the game. I can hear that fan in the background. Yeah, 39 degrees. So it won't be thermal throttling. So it's definitely working. It's not an ideal solution, but it definitely makes a difference. And if you're going to plug it into your TV anyway, then it's not too much bother to just put a fan on it. And uh, it has, yeah, it's ha the, the phone doesn't feel that hot to touch. Whereas ordinarily, if I played that game, the phone would get very hot. Okay, so I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.